Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Valentino Rossi the game and MotoGP 16 here in this channel. Now before we jump into the race in the Czech Republic, there was a new update on the game today, patch 1.02. Now I'm going to leave a full patch note in the description below. So if you want to see the updates they've made to the game, and some of them are really good, have a look in the description below. I'm going to leave a full list of all the changes. Right, let's jump into the race today and we're around Bruno. Now this is going to be a tough race, so let's get straight into it. Welcome to all our viewers, we're in Bruno. The engines are starting to rumble and the riders are getting ready because qualifying starts in a few moments' time. It looks like this will be an uncertain session, not only because of the wet surface, but also because the weather looks very changeable indeed. Oh my God, guys, we've got light rain today in qualifying. This isn't going to make it easy, but we're going to jump straight in and try and get a good time on the grid. So let's get straight into it now, guys. Right, so here we go with our sixth lap, and we are starting to run out of time. We still haven't managed to put a time on the board. Now, Sam Lowe's, our teammates, managed to put in two minutes uh, and two seconds, 0.7. Uh, we have been quite close to it um, on the split times. We're only about a second behind, but we seem to keep crashing out on the slow corners. Now, um, I'm trying my hardest to get the right setup because I don't think I can go into the race with it how it is at the moment. But we're going to give it one more chance on this lap to see if we can at least get a time on the board. And then we're going to make a few more adjustments. But it's just accelerating out the slow corners. We seem to uh, having a lot of issues, a lot of wobble. And it's throwing us off. And oh god, we're not too far away on that first split point. So we've just got to start to improve. And I'm finding it really hard to get other riders to follow as well, yeah, to get a bit of slipstream to improve our times. But this bike definitely doesn't handle into the corners as well as some of the other bikes that we've tried in this series so far. Uh, it's good on the straights, it's not bad acceleration wise, but around the corners, I wouldn't say it's good as the last team. So that's one thing that um, I've noticed. And again, just lost it in that corner, it's not turning in. Um, into those corners as well as I'd like and it's and then it's throwing me out and then I'm trying to accelerate too much out the slow corners and we've lost this see what I mean we've lost a second into the second split point um, we're really gonna have to really try hard I mean I'm looking to at least get uh, in the top 10 for qualifying and this hopefully um, hope for better conditions in the race now I'm ho I was hoping for the uh, track to dry out towards the end of the session but it's carried on raining in fact I think it's actually got harder and it's just making it a little bit uh, more tricky into the slow corners as there's more puddles developing and um, some of the improvements they've made is on some of the sounds of the bikes and the weather conditions I think as well um, it, and hopefully uh, they will improve the game and oh my god on the third one we're almost two seconds behind and um, we really need to improve on this we literally have not got much time left in this qualifying session and I'm finding in the last couple of races that um, I'm using use, I'm using more time um, in qualifying and um, usually I'd get a time and then I'd forward it on uh, I haven't managed to do that and we managed to get 13 that's an improvement we've got a time on the board now so um, I think I might go just one more lap to see if we can uh, get better than that if not we've got to make a, a few little adjustments I think before we go into the race or maybe just try and push it to the end of qualifying but uh, let's see if we can get a bit of slipstream here and improve our time uh, but you've got to be careful that you don't go too um, close in behind the bikes because I think um, a just slight contact with any other riders is going to send you off in this race let's see if we can get right tight behind them let's see if we can go around the outside here get a nice drive oh god we've lost half a second somewhere uh ah, see what i mean just as i'm trying to tap on the power there it's really unstable right let's slow it down into this corner let's try and get a better line see if we can go around the outside of him oh god not managing to turn it in just trying to accelerate slowly really struggling here let's see if we can just get any slipstream we're trying to improve our time so sometimes getting another rider in front of you so you can just gain a bit of time sometimes help but i don't think uh, the person in front of us is going to be in the top 10 I doubt so uh, I think that might not work but let's see if we can get nice and tight into that corner that's a little bit bare flip it over accelerate this seems better can I just power out of this corner that's better oh god see just just a little bit too much there I've got to be a little bit more gentle with the uh, throttle there but um, hopefully this will be a better time if we can improve in the last sections really lost it in that corner and look at the puddles developing now guys i swear blind this rain is actually getting harder and this if this is what it's going to be like in the race it's going to be a very very challenging race because when you're uh, grouped up at the start of the race there's going to be a quite a bit of contact and there's going to be a lot of crashes and we really lost it in that corner again so i think uh, this time actually is going to be slow yes we're over two seconds behind definitely need to make some adjustments now i don't think uh, this is going to be our oh, game 
totally lost it in that corner. This has not been a very good qualifying session, but uh, hope, fingers crossed, we've, even when we've had bad qualifying sessions, we've managed to improve in the race. And look at that, two and a half seconds, just not uh, doing well. Let's see if we can get a bit more slipstream this time. Um, it's really hard to get a rider in front of you in these uh, qualifying sessions, so I think I'm gonna stick with it just for one more lap. I think we've got enough time. Still got 10 minutes, Let's see if we can get a bit of slipstream, Let's see if we can improve. Because if you can catch up with him, you know that you're improving into the corners. Let's see if we can get a better line going into this corner. We've got to try and catch up. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh God, again, just can't seem to get the brakes on enough just to get a nice tight line. And again, see if we can get a tight line. We have got the time down from the previous lap. But still, we're not absolutely flying. We need to get some, we haven't got any uh, fastest times at any split point in this race yet. Let's see if we can get a nice line into this corner. Now that's a little bit better. Just hold the speed and then just gently accelerate. And we are catching here, so we are improving into this next uh, split point i think so let's get a nice line through here just bring open accelerator oh god onto the bloody curb again and let's see if we can get a nice line through here again we're just losing it definitely gonna have to make adjustments here right let's just get a nice line through here and, we've, and we're not too far behind oh oh there we go we're off right guys we're going one more lap we still haven't improved on that 13th place um but we were fastest at the first split point at the start of the last lap. Let's see if we can do that again and just carry on trying to go into those corners a little bit quicker. We want to improve on this time, but the, like I said, the rain is getting harder and I think it's going to be uh, some heavy rain in this race today. I've, I've just got that feeling. So we're going to have to be really, really good on the brakes in this race. Uh, but um, I, And again, we're fastest at that first split point. So we've definitely got that first section nailed. It's just the uh, the next three that we've got to improve on. But uh, let's see if we can get closer to the time. I mean, if we can get into the top 10 on this final lap, I would be really, really happy with that. But um, it's not going to be easy. It's annoying because when you get circuits that uh, you really feel comfortable on, the weather always throws you out. Sometimes you can uh, do okay. Some you just can't really get the hang of it. Now, um, I have uh, had a couple of races in the wet and the AI has been really, really slow in the wet, but uh, that's not the case around this circuit. I think that uh, two minutes and two seconds is pretty good. And now we've lost half a second. Damn, so we've lost half a second at the second split point, but I'm not gonna uh, give up yet. We, this is our last uh, attempt anyway, so we've gotta just throw everything at it. And again, we didn't get a tight enough line into that corner, and but we can generate a bit of pace. And now we've got to get a good line up through this left hander. If you can nail this, you can get a good line going into the right hander and get a decent speed. That wasn't too bad. We haven't slowed it down too much. Flip it over and just try and generate some pace. Now I think we're going to go onto the curb. Just on the curb, that's going to slow us down. And at the oh god, we've lost some time. Again, we've lost a, a second in that section. We're definitely going to have to improve in that uh, section through the race. And uh, here we go, guys. It looks like this time's not going to get us a better time. But uh, we, we, we've used the whole session. That's all I can say. I've tried my best, but it just hasn't worked out. And that brings us to the end of the qualifying session. And yes, it wasn't better than the 13th. So we start the race in 13th place. And we're going to have to be really good on the brakes in today's race and just try and be a bit of a rain master. We've done it once before. Hopefully we can do it again. But uh, these races are getting more challenging. I mean, it's a three-way uh, fight between Sam Lowe's, uh, Zarko and me. And uh, I think it's going to be between us three in this race. I mean, them two got uh, the top spots. That's hopefully we can um, do the same and just really, really push it. So uh, let's get straight into it, guys. I can see this one being very tough, but I'm going to give it... 110%, so here we go. This is Gavin Emmett welcoming viewers to Bruno. We're here for the 11th round of the MotoGP World Championship to bring you live coverage of the Moto2 class at the Czech Republic Grand Prix. At the moment, the track is completely soaked and the rain shows no signs of letting up. This will definitely prompt race direction to declare a wet race. More like a bloody monsoon. I thought the rain would get harder for the race. So this is going to be a real tricky race in today's episode. We're going to have to be really good on the brakes and just take our chances. So here we go, guys, with this race around Bruno.
Just a few more seconds for the race to start. Will those riders on the front row be able to make the most of their advantage? And will those pre-race nerves get the better of them? Right, guys, so here we go with the Czech Republic GP around this Brudo circuit in this sodding rain. Let's see if we can get a good start here. We know this bike's got a decent acceleration, and that's not bad. And look at the spray coming off the back wheel there as we try and get away. We've got to be really careful we don't go into too many of those deep puddles on the outside of the track. We've got to try and take the lines they're taking, and that's not a bad first corner. And we've managed to take a few places, and we're up to P6. Can we hold it? Really trying to generate some speed around the corner, but also being careful that we don't overdo it. Oh, God, just tap on the power a little bit early there. Got a little bit of a moment at the back but we've managed to sort it out on the straight and we just lost the place but can we slow it down into this next left hander oh god it kicked out again as we try to slow the bike down really struggling here now these conditions are actually worse than qualifying so we've got to be a little bit more cautious and we went on the curb there as we try to go around that corner that's not a good idea trying to accelerate on the curb is going to chuck me off but uh, we've managed to get into a decent position sixth position isn't bad considering we started in 13th really trying to slow it down into that corner and just trying to stay with the leading group we want to at least to try and go for a podium if that is possible but oh my god what a turn there and we've managed to get into third place that was a bit of a risk but i think they're going to get back at me there and i just dropped a number couple of positions there but uh, that's trying getting back in the corner trying to be really really nice and aggressive here at the start of this race and trying to push it as much as i can if we can stay with the leading riders uh, i can just see zarko's leading sam no oh god what a moment there almost got chucked off and managed just to control it oh my god my heart was in my mouth there as it almost came off and again into that corner and the back end was sliding there just managed to control it just got to be so careful on the brakes in these conditions how the hell am i still on this bike i've got no idea but we're into a p3 no p4 is coming up the inside can i take the position back and back into p3 so we're in a podium position but whether we can hold this over three laps is what the difficulty is going to be and uh, we got bumped onto the curb there just managed to straighten it out and we've got about five riders behind us now uh, sam lowes and Zarko of pulling away and again we've lost it slightly in that corner as we try to slow down got a little bit of a bump there um, I'm not managing to settle down just yet but now that's the first lap out of the way uh, this the first lap's been pretty quick considering and uh, that's see if we can just chase him down a bit we've got to try and get in the slipstream and try and pressurize him if we can into mistakes can we take a nice tight line here oh god we almost went into Sam Lowe's but I managed to slow it down but it did chuck us out slightly wider but we've really got to try and pull away from the group behind us so we can just concentrate on catching these two or at least finishing in third position. That wouldn't be a, 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 the end of the world. I mean, considering we started in 13th, but on the podium would be an awesome comeback. But I am always, always going to push this bike to try and get a win. But uh, I don't want to overdo it, do it because in these conditions, it's just going to get worse. I mean, the, the rain on the bloody... Uh, track is ridiculous and you can go around the corners you can see just the puddles developing even more and it's ridiculous i think the uh, the graphics on the puddles are a lot better than it was on moto gp 15 it looks a little bit more realistic and uh, see if we can get a nice line through this corner and try and chase these two down they're not totally pulling away but we went off course again on that corner we seem to really struggle on that one but we're still on the bike and that's not a bad thing let's see if we can flip it over and try and generate and this time i'm going to open the floor slowly we came off in qualifying gunning it out of that corner and that was better we're actually not doing too bad i think this is a quite a decent lap for us here and we're really trying to pull away from the group behind us and that's what i said i wanted to do at least but we're not showing that we can ride the same pace as them in this weather which like i said in qualifying is quite strange because when we had the race of the french gp the ai were really really slow around uh, that circuit in the wet but in this one they're not too bad so uh, let's see if we can get a nice line going up the hill and getting a slipstream so this is coming towards the end of the second lap and this hasn't been a bad race but i i am starting to lose a bit of pace there starting to catch up with me behind and uh, i think her third position is what the position we're going to finish in because i can't see us going any quicker or can we just catch up with these two are they going to get a little bit more acceleration onto the straight there God, they're on the curb and they're still pulling away let's see if we can get any slipstream here and we've managed to just latch onto sam lowe's can we get past our teammate into this corner going into the final lap and we managed to get a much tighter line there but we've gone into there a little bit quick and that's going to cost us yeah i thought that might happen and sam lowe's bit back but can we get back at him there can we take second place that would be awesome can we get past him here going around the outside of him can we get into that corner left hand corner before he turns in this isn't going to be easy we don't want to be knocked off so should we just back off slightly oh god we went in there a little bit too hot 
anyway and he's going to hold that position but we're still in touch with these two and we really try to push ourselves we're doing a lot better in this race than we did in qualifying i think our last lap was actually quicker than what I, we did in qualifying as well so we have improved in the race considering the conditions are even worse so has managed to dive into that corner really trying to push it now as we come towards the end of the circuit and sam got up the inside and i've got up the inside of him we're having a bit of a battle here so this will play into Sarko's hands he's probably going to just run away with the race and then right onto the curb there trying to get the best line through that corner and that didn't really work we didn't really gain any time and again we're trying to get a nice tight line and we have just managed to pull the gap down onto Zarko slightly but he's still getting a better um, e exit on the corners than we are and again oh god I'm onto the curb and that's just cost us a bit we've got Sam right behind us we've got to be careful that we don't make any mistakes and I think he's going to come up the inside so I'm going to take an inside look tight line here so he does it I think he's going to go around the outside but I'm managing just to get a decent drive there and just preventing him from getting past us but he's going to try and go up the inside again on this corner let's try and close that down and we're catching up as our go we made contact with him oh my god that was lucky we stayed on and we almost lost the back end there as we try to get a tight line and really lost it again and Sam Lowe's has got past us Oh God, lucky we stayed on there and we're coming towards the end of this race and I think Zarko's definitely going to get a win but I'm going to take a chance. Can I get past them both here? We went straight past them but I know I'm not going to turn it in here but can we just at least take second? We're trying to take a tighter line here but no, Sam's going around the outside. Oh my God, I think I'm going to lose second place here. I'm trying to get any slipstream but I think it's too late and we take third. What a battle between the three leading in the championship. I tried my hardest, but I am actually happy with that result. I mean, we started in 13th, we got a podium, and I said that's what the aim was. And we got the fastest lap as well. It wasn't as fast as the lap they were putting in in qualifying but in those conditions I was the quickest I'm not sure whether that was the last lap or the second lap but I was definitely showing some improvement improvement I hope you enjoyed today's race and look at it guys this championship is not over uh, it's still very very close between me and Zarko plus guys don't forget to have a look in the description for all the patch notes for all the things they've updated since the game's released uh, they've just altered a few things here and there to make the game a little bit better so just take a look guys and I will see you soon for some more racing here on Valentino Rossi the game MotoGP 16 and I think in the next race we're in uh, Great Britain so it's going to be a home GP for the next race in round Silverstone. And that's going to be a, a really tough one, probably in these conditions as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Bye bye, guys.